Hello everyone. Today at Ton Time, we will be unboxing this uh, Infant Optics DXR-8 wireless digital video and monitoring system for babies. So this is a non-Wi-Fi system, meaning that it does not connect over the internet. It uses 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology to connect from the camera to the system. So it is hacker free from the internet uh, for all of you who are worried about uh, running monitoring devices through through the internet. So um, this looks like it's a pretty cool looking uh, um, baby cam. It's got a lot of uh, great re uh, awards and reviews, five star picks from Engadget, Tech Radar, LifeWire. Um, they all love this device and these are pretty much um, big name consumer reviewing sites, uh, especially for electronics. So yeah, let's go ahead and open it up um, and see what's inside. So this is what the box looks like. It has a temperature sensor, alarm feature, it's interference free, sound activated LED display and infrared night vision. You can switch out to three different optics uh, for wide angle lens or normal mode or wide effect. So as you can see from the three pictures below, depending on how much um, view you want of the room. So that's pretty cool that you could swap out three lenses. Really unique there. Yeah, so good, nice retail packaging, choking hazard. Um, you don't want this near your kid, so be sure to put it somewhere where it's safe to use. And that's pretty much it. So some of the key features of this guy is um, it's got the three lens to interchange. Um, it's got two-way audio, night vision. You could pan, tilt, and zoom. Um, camera scan mode, uh, sound LED bar, non-Wi-Fi closed loop system. It has a remote temperature as well. And you could connect up to four cameras with the space station. So those are some of the um, unique features on here. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what is inside. I'll put the link to the product below if you guys are interested. Upon opening, um, that's pretty much it. Empty box, pretty easy to open. You have the instructions here and a carton with the products. So it says right here, important, do not return this product to the store. If you have any problem, just contact them. So contact the manufacturer. So let's take a look at the manual to see. Looks like you have a, activate your one free warranty. Register within seven days after receiving your monitor. 100% cover, so there's the warranty where you can go online to register it. Only takes two minutes, they say. So you got the instructions here. Pretty easy, plug the camera into the wall, plug the unit into the wall. Uh, and this one has a wireless battery, it has a battery that you can connect so you could carry it wirelessly too. But you could also connect, uh, there's a rechargeable battery and you connect it to the wall and then press and hold two seconds, fall on screen appear, turn on. Okay, so this kind of like gives you a quick instruction. This one here is a little bit more in depth. User manual with all the items, or with all the settings that you could use. And that's the, that's the manual. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the product. So you got your monitoring monitoring base station with your monitor and you got the camera and you got the power adapter unit for the camera and the power adapter unit for monitor. So really easily laid out here. So let's pull out the camera. Power adapter. Looks, looks like there's a battery here. And mounting. Hardware mounting option, it looks like. You got here, power adapter for the monitoring unit. 
Here's the monitoring unit. And USB power cable for the monitoring unit. So if you want to power it on with a USB. So they actually include that as well. And you got the zoom lenses. And an empty curtain. Okay, so let's get rid of the empty curtain there. So first thing um, I noticed on the instruction is, you know what, let's go ahead and open this up. So this is what the camera looks like. It's all plastic on and off. Removable small parts keep out of reach of children. So they want to let you know that this item is removable Keep this away from kids and then you get the little antenna here and then the power back here Here is the Power cable again warning keep this away from kids. They could it's very dangerous. So make sure it's away from your baby so you would Plug this guy here and plug this into, into the uh, outlet here. That's pretty much it. Everything there. This is a hardware mounting kit, which I don't think we need. The zoom lens. Let's take a quick look at the zoom lens here. So there's already one on here. So you got what which one is this this one looks like an ultra wide one i think so you have that and okay so that's one lens there Supposed to come with another one, I think, but where is it? Okay, here's the power plug for this guy here, and then you got the USB here. you want to plug this into a USB device. So that's cool that they gave you this USB cable for power or plug it into the wall here. You got that choice. And you got the actual unit itself right here. The little kickstand. So let me see. I got the zoom lens here. I think it's supposed to come with. Okay, let me see. Maybe it's on here. I'm going to remove the sticker. Okay, so how, that's how it's interchangeable. It's screwed on. So I got one lens here. This is the zoom lens. This is a wide angle, I think. So it doesn't come with anything else in here. So this is the, it says here, optical zoom lens. Pretty much is screwed on like this. This one here, it looks like I'm missing one lens. This looks like it's actually the optical zoom lens. And then I think, oh, it's sold separately. So you only get two. So you get the alum, uh, you get the normal mode and the optical zoom two. If you want the wide angle one, 
it says here it's sold separately. So that's my bad. So you only get two lenses here that you can swap out. You only get um, this guy and this guy. So um, I'm going to, uh, this one here has a battery. So you could go mobile with it if you want when you're walking around the house so you're not tethered to an outlet. So uh, bear in mind, I'm just doing everything live here. I, I did not, I looked at the instruction and it would look pretty easy to read. So visually, so I'm just following what the instruction said. So be sure when you're putting it in black wire on the left side, red wire on the right. And it's, it only goes in one way. So be sure you plug that in properly. That right. Okay. Then let me see if I can run this wire nicely. So that's the rechargeable battery. Okay. So I'm going to try to clean a little bit of my workstation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in, it needs power. I have a trusty outlet here, luckily. Oh, look, it's powering on. So I'm going to plug this here. And I have my camera here that I'm going to plug into the other side. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, wow. It... Okay, I need to turn it off because the sound. <laughs> So it actually recognized the camera right away. You didn't even need to pair it. So when it's not paired, it says out of range. But, okay, wait, let me get these out of the way. So this is the USB cable I'm gonna get out of the way. This is the extra lens that I'll put here. We don't, this is the mounting kit which you can mount on a wall. There's the mounting point and they give you an anchor and a screw so you can mount it anywhere on the wall with one screw. It's a light unit, so it just needs one screw. And let's get rid of everything here and clean up this desk. Okay, so easy. Once you plug it in, it's actually turned on because there was some power in the battery. But uh, right now I'm running off of AC power, but see if I unplug it, oops. If I unplug it, it's, it should still be on. So you could go mobile with it, two bars. So if you're in the kitchen, going outside the yard, um, you could move this uh, unit with you so you can keep an eye on your kid 24 seven. So, but be sure to keep it plugged in. So um, I hope, let me, I need to find a way to mute this. So I'm gonna turn this camera on and as, as you notice, when I turned it on, it, it synced right away. So I think it knows that it's looking for a specific signal for this guy. So I'm not going to talk. Let me find the mute button. Okay. Oh, it echoed. Echo low, high, off, off, off. Ah, oh, okay. All right, so I turned down the volume so it doesn't feed back loop since it's in the same room. But this is kind of um, looking into my room right now. Um, it's, my room's kind of dark, but um, this is with the 2X lens. So you know what, let me change the lens out so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna change it out to this guy here. So that's the lens. Picture quality, I mean, it isn't the best. I don't think it's HD, but um, I don't think that matters. So you can zoom in, do a digital zoom here, it looks like. And there is a pan, tilt, and zoom. So let me figure out how to... Maybe hit scan.
but this is to adjust the brightness. I think this would play three minute, five minutes timer to turn off. You. Okay, this is to add more cameras. So let me figure out how to to toggle temperature scale. Hold down shortcut button for three seconds. Okay, so if you hold down the shortcut button, you could change between Celsius, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. Okay, so when you're out of the menu, as you can see, you can zoom. There's me. It's not too bad. You can tilt up to and tilt down. So it looks like it could sweep about 180 degrees. No, it could yeah, roughly maybe almost 360, about 270. So it, it the, the field of vision between the pan and tilt is pretty good. This is going up. So light and down. So it's not bad. Video quality isn't HD, but it's good enough just to see where, where, what your kid's doing. And this is, let's see, this is with the regular uh, lens. So, hello. <laughs> okay. So if you look here, this is with my dresser in my room. Oh, that's my iPhone there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out. This is a 2X. This is a 2X lens here. So you got your standard vision, and if you want a little bit more zoom, as you can see here, change out the lens, and you see how much more zoom it is. You can see my nightstand a lot closer now. So that's the difference there. So yeah, picture quality, it's a little dark over there, but it's not bad. I think once you get better lighting, it's better. Um, just keep in mind that this is doing 2.4 gigahertz, it's non Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over to the screen. See, big difference. So most likely, most people will use the standard, the standard lens here, depending on where you put your camera. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, the menu is really easy. I, you, you, there's two way talk. Um, you can listen to the room if you put up the volume here, but I put it down so the feedback doesn't echo through. Um, color. I believe you could play the last um, three minutes here. I'm not sure what this is. You got 1x, 2x digital zoom. This looks like some kind of timer. You can add more cameras here. You have to tell it to scan and add. Uh, so I think scan is if you have multiple cameras when the scan it switches between the camera um, But I only have one here, so I can't really test that out and this is a volume low high and you got your buttons here You got your menu. Okay Menu button left up down left right Your shortcut and your talk So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things on the manual that I wasn't sure of video is a little bit longer than thought but there's a lot to cover okay so let's look at the menu here so 
it doesn't really tell you much. So the shortcut menu, this is useful when you're sleeping and want to adjust the volume or brightness click quickly without the need to enter into the menu bar. Press the shortcut button on the monitor unit. Do not hold the button down as it will toggle the temperature scale reading. The menu bar image above will appear. Press the left right button to adjust. Okay, so shortcut button is already kind of predetermined. So you see, if you hit the shortcut button, you can toggle between the volume and the brightness quickly um, without going through the menu. So that's what the shortcut button is. Um, Okay, so sleep delay mode. So the icon with the play. So um, standby icon is highlighted. So this sets the delay time for the screen to turn off automatically. Okay, so this is sleep mode. You can turn it off, the screen will always be on, but if you want the screen to go to sleep in three to five minutes, you can set that there too. So that's what that sleep mode is. Is for this unit screen to turn off. Probably leave that off for now because you want to, if you're monitoring your baby, you probably want to leave it on all the time and not turn off. And then the last thing is the bell. Let's see what the bell does. Sorry, like every unboxing video, I don't open a box beforehand. I open it up same time I'm recording. So what you guys see is what I'm seeing for the first time. So I'm learning as we go as well. So the alarm here, press the menu button and the menu alarm. Left, right, alarm icon is highlighted. Press up and down to select desired time for two hour, four, six. Okay, so that's just alarm. Um, I guess this, uh, if you wanna adjust two, four, six hour, the alarm will toggle on this unit. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is everything that you see here. So pretty cool unit. Um, how it's not using Wi-Fi, uh, it's using 2.4 gigahertz technology. You could go mobile with this. As you can see, and scroll around with battery. You got the temperature of the room. So pretty much everything you need to monitor your baby. So not bad, pretty cool. I'll put the link to the product below. It's running around $165 right now, but if you don't want anything connected to the internet and you want to be able to have the freedom of a unit to walk around, not connected to the internet, private to you only, this is a good unit to get. Makes a good gifts too. So there you have it guys. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit better look here. Another view, this is the handheld unit. It's got a little stand in the back too if you want. Two way audio, pretty cool. It's got the a flip up antenna too. I didn't show you guys that there. There's that. And then you got the camera here. You got night vision, little LED, turn it on and off there. Wireless, really easy to use. You don't need to pair anything. It just works right out of the box. So that is everything that you see here, guys. So yeah. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And like always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.